In this episode, Perseverance chokes on a rock sample, takes stunning images of Jezero Crater, and creates what looks like a face on a Martian rock. This video is part of a series documenting the Mars rover Perseverance every three months. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, watch those first. Links are in the description. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. It's Sol 265 and the rover has just taken two rock samples from this area, which is known as Brax. The layering of the rocks in this area points toward volcanic activity influenced by running water. Perseverance stops to capture the breathtaking sights of Jezero Crater, producing one of its most detailed panoramas yet. It's sometimes easy to forget that we are looking at the surface of another planet far, far away. Mars is so far away that if you were traveling 100 miles per hour or 161 kilometers per hour, it would take you around 39 years to reach the planet, and that's when Mars is closest to Earth in its orbit. At the orbital maximum, it would take 284 years. On Sol 279, Perseverance spots something on the Martian surface. It's our little friend, Ingenuity. It sits on its 10th airfield at an incline of about 6 degrees, after having just completed its 16th flight. The helicopter is starting to make its way back to the original landing site before venturing beyond. This map shows the proposed route for both helicopter and rover. The white line depicts the rover's journey so far, and the blue line represents NASA's future ambition. The rover will begin to retrace its tracks around the dangerous Sayata area before making fast progress towards the River Delta. In this close-up aerial view, we can see the large sand dunes in the Sayata area which prohibit the rover from taking a shortcut. On its way back around Sayata, the rover stumbles across an interesting rock nicknamed Isol, and the team orders Perseverance to abrade and take samples. The first drill sample goes smoothly, and the rock is one of the oldest the rover has come across so far. Another sample is taken. The resulting holes in the rock make a pattern resembling a face. However, the rover reports an anomaly, stops all operations, and calls NASA for help. On Sol 314, engineers at NASA find the cause of the anomaly, chunks of rock obstructing the rover's bit carousel. It's not clear how much rock is left in the sample tube, so the team decides to return it to the Martian surface. This series of images shows the drill pointed six degrees below horizontal and ejecting the leftover rocks. These before and after images show the ground below where the drill ejected its contents. Can you spot the difference? Now the team must work to dislodge the debris in the bit carousel. The rover performs a spin test and most of the debris is removed. However, two small pieces of rock remain, lodged inside the mechanism. After extensive testing on Earth with Perseverance's twin optimism, the rocks are found to pose no danger in this position. Wanting to be thorough, the team at NASA orders the rover to drive a short five meters and up onto a rock. The angle of the rover is favorable for the lodged pebbles to vacate the mechanism and the team confirms the debris has been removed. Perseverance is now as good as ever. The rover is ordered to take yet another sample of Isol, which goes smoothly. The emptied sample tube is reused. Meanwhile, Ingenuity becomes the first ever aircraft to become grounded on another planet due to bad weather. This image, taken by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, shows a regional dust storm shrouding the rover and helicopter, depicted by the white circle. Perseverance now begins the long journey back around Sayata and breaks a record for the longest drive on Mars in a single sol. This image shows the long wheel tracks left by the rover. The dust storm has subsided and Ingenuity takes to the skies for its 19th flight, a short hop on the road back to the original landing site. The rover and helicopter celebrate their one-year anniversary on Mars, a major milestone for the mission. 
In the next episode, Perseverance should cover new ground much faster, but what will it discover? Click here to find out. Thanks for watching Elder Fox. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest discoveries.